Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another heart racing episode of High Heat, my cooking show where I get really stoned and I start cooking some amazing yet questionable food. Today I will be making burgers on a budget. The pandemic has really stripped me of any sort of monetary income, so I'm working with what I have. For buns, I will be using plain white bread. And for my all-American cheddar cheese, I am going to be using this big slab of Armstrong marble cheese from the Walmart. It tastes like plastic, but it'll do. I will be smoking shishkaveri, which is another indica dominant strain, and to be honest, the first time that I tried it, I was pretty underwhelmed with the high, but I plan on finishing the entire spliff today. Now with all that being said, if you guys are ready, let's spark our spliffs and get started. <laughs> I'd also like to mention that as a disclaimer, I do condone, permit, condone. I do not permit and I do condone the use of marijuana or on sharps or on hot stuff, but here I am doing all of it anyway. For your entertainment, I have so much more to go. Okay, I think I'm done with this. I need to go sit down. <coughs> wow, I'm feeling brave cooking in my white shirt, okay. I've made fries as my side. I'm sprinkling them with salt before I put them in the oven, which I am preheating to 425 degrees. Fries will be in there for 25 minutes, and they're gonna come out nice and crispy. Fries are all lubed up, I'm lining them on the sheet because I have OCD and also because they need to cook evenly. My soldiers are ready for duty. I'm gonna put these off to the side. Today, I'm gonna need some ground beef, my egg, which is gonna go straight into my beef. I've never made a burger before, so I'm just making it as though it were a big meatball. Some salt, Peppa Pig, Garlic powder. I realize that I say garlic kind of weird. I say it like garlic, garlic powder. Yeah, okay. The weed is pretty strong. The last time that I smoked it, felt like I bought it off some Scarborough man's who was chopping it for like 10 a bag, but it was less than a dime. Sounds like I'm describing myself. A little bit of paprika. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. And a teaspoon of soy sauce. I don't have Worcestershire. Wor wor Worcestershire. I'm using this as a substitute. And a little bit of ketchup. Please don't be watery. Yeah. I hate when the ketchup is really watery and it soaks everything, so it turns everything into like a ketchup soup. And now we gotta mix it around. Um, okay, I think I just have to do it. Oh, it stayed whole. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, so you wanna... I hate this feeling. <laughs> this is my fear factor addition. I wonder if this is what brains feel like once you're done touching up all the nasty burger parts. We're gonna put it in the fridge to let it cool for a little bit. I'm also gonna turn on the stove so that we can... I don't know why we're turning on the stove. Oh, so that we can toast our bread. It's gonna be a dry pan. I'm gonna put my slices right on it to toast and then I'm gonna put it off to the side. Here, I'm gonna start cutting up my cheese slices for my burger. I like a lot of cheese, so I'm not gonna be shy about it. I guess it's more like a sandwich than it is a burger. Oh, it's a beautiful slice of cheese. Look at that. Sponsor me. My oven's ready. I feel like now I'm just cutting it up to feel something. Fries are going in for 25 minutes. Ah, the pan is getting hot. I'm gonna take my toasties out. Again, if you have actual buns, please use those. Go ahead and put those in your pan. I feel like bread is versatile enough. You make a sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich, a burger sandwich. You want it just brown enough to give you a nice crisp, holding all the meat together. Flip it here and there. For my burger sauce, I'm gonna mix together some mayo, ketchup, mustard, and a little bit of pickle juice. Oh, I want enough sauce for both sides of the bun. This is a poor man's mac sauce, which is just Thousand Islands dressing, by the way. Hello. Flip your bread, mix your sauce. Downtown. Give it a taste. Tastes like Thousand Islands dressing. <laughs> Multitasking. My sauce is perfect. My toasts are almost ready, which means I'm gonna go grab the beef from the fridge. Also, I whisk the bread bag and I fold it. That's how I put it away. I lost the little tag and apparently that makes me the worst person in the world. Ready for more? Our toasty toasts are ready. Looking beautiful and golden brown. I'm gonna put these on a plate off to the side. Margarine in the pan. Ooh, usual. Get the pan all lubed up, and I am just gonna take handfuls of this and put it smack back in the pan. It smells really good. And I'm gonna smush them down. A smash burger. Put a lid on it. They look like shit. <laughs> put some cheese. I'll save this one. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a lid on that one more time. I turned the heat off for the burgers, and honestly, they're not turning out how I wanted them to, but I don't mind. I ordered a lot of burgers, so I feel like it was time for me to actually make one. I'm gonna start putting my sauce on my toasts, on my bones. Get a nice even coating of your Big Mac sauce. I feel like that looks great to me. I'm gonna pull from the uh, cheese skirt and lift. Yeah, let's put another one on there for fun. Oh wait, I did that one wrong. I'm transferring this onto a new plate because it looks like shit. I'm trying to take my fries out of the oven. Oh my god. Check out the meat on that burger. Nice and juicy and full of cheese. And these fries are beautifully well done and crispy to my liking. So let's have a taste. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty surprised I didn't get anything on my shirt, but you know, don't speak too soon. Time to give my big juicy sandwich a try. Yo, the shit is good. It's spilling everywhere, so it's more like a sloppy joe than it is a burger, but I'm pretty satisfied with the taste. I obviously don't care that I'm eating it between toast. For a burger that cost me $3 to make, I am not gonna complain. I would've used more eggs to keep the meat together. But overall, I'm really happy. My fries are nice and crispy, juicy on the inside, but crispy on the outside, like my body. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I'm gonna go order a $20 cheeseburger combo. Thank you always for watching and getting high with me. Let me know how you like this video down in the comments, and if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of High Heat, and I'll catch you in my next one. You can always go downtown. No, 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 no.